모시고 단독 촬영하도록 하겠습니다. 촬영이죠. 크리스 파인 씨 모시고 단독 촬영하도록 하겠습니다. 네. 패셔니스타 크리스 파인 씨입니다. Start from left. Center. Kori Kintu, she got to all our j u s g e s n i k a All together, three of you. Okay. So, t e r e o t e We'll start from the left. Left, please. Center. Right. Just a little, please. Okay, all together. 네 분입니다. All together. Could you look at the left side, please. Center. Do you mind? Live long and prosperous. This one? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 네, 고맙습니다. 여러분. 함께 해주신 스타트 비용대 저스탠딩 감독님, 크리스 파인, 제코리 킨토, 사이먼 페그 씨에게 큰 박수 부탁드리겠습니다. 고맙습니다. 먼저 첫 번째. 어, 네분 모두 한국에 오신 걸 진심으로 환영합니다 어, 네 분의 인사 말씀과 함께 한국에 오신 소감을 한 말씀씩 들어봐야 될 텐데요 사이먼 페그 씨부터 차례대로 옆으로 듣도록 하겠습니다 사이먼 페그 씨부터 인사 말씀과 한국을 찾으신 소감 부탁드립니다 uh, Hello, uh, my name is Simon Pegg um, I'm delighted to be here in Korea um, We've had a wonderful time so far, and it's a real pleasure to be able to bring Star Trek Beyond to you. Um, and uh, yeah, Zach. Hi, Simon. Uh, yeah, I'm Zachary Quinto. Uh, it's a great honor to be here in Korea for my first time. Um, we were particularly welcomed at the airport here, which was very nice to be greeted by so many uh, enthusiastic fans so that was a great way to kick off uh, celebrating this film and sharing it with you all thanks for having us I am Chris Pine I play Captain Kirk and uh, this is my second time in Korea and it was uh, as Zach and Simon such a, a wonderful uh, 
greeting we received at the airport. I don't think I've, we've ever been received quite the same way anywhere in the world. So thank you very much for having us, for your support, your passion for uh, our um, really wonderful franchise, Star Trek, and we look forward to showing it to you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Justin, the director. Um, likewise, I've, this is my first time in Korea, and uh, you know we've been having a lot of great time. Just one day, just talking to people, we had a really great screening. Uh, last night, talking to a lot of uh, film fans and, and film students. 네, 고맙습니다. 여러분들 모두 환영합니다. 그 함께 공연한 톰 크루즈가 한국과 인연이 굉장히 깊습니다. 그 한국에 방문하기 전에 그에게 들은 이야기가 있는지, 어떤 조언을 들었는지, 그리고 한국에서의 첫 인상이 어땠는지 궁금합니다. 첫 번째 인상과 톰 크루즈에게 어떤 얘기를 들으셨는지 사이먼 페그 씨에게 질문 주셨습니다. Um, I haven't spoken to Tom for a while. He's been shooting The Mummy in Namibia with uh, Sophia Boutella, who's also in Star Trek Beyond. Um, but I'm sure he would have been thrilled. And I will tell him that I've been here when I see him again, when we start Mission Impossible 6 in uh, January, I think. Um, Korea so far has been an absolute joy. I've been bowled over by the sheer enthusiasm and generosity of the people that have greeted us here and waited for us outside various things and given us gifts and made us feel so welcome. It just seems to me like a beautifully positive and um, uh, wonderful place and I'm very, very happy to be here. 네, 고맙습니다. 계속해서 다음 질문 가겠습니다. 다음 질문은 오른쪽이네요. 네. 네, 저 한국일보 김표양이라고 합니다. 사이먼 페그 씨께 질문을 좀 드리고 싶은데요. 그 각본에 참여하셨다고 알고 있는데 가장 심혈을 기울여서 고민하셔서 만들어낸 장면이나 어떤 시퀀스가 무엇인지 궁금하고요. 영화로 만들어진 그 완성된 작품을 봤을 때 어, 어떤 장면이나 어떠한 내용에서 어, 본인께서 구상하신 어떤 이 작품의 세계관이랄까요? 이런 것들이 가장 잘 드러났다고 생각하시는지 예시를 들어주시길 바랍니다. 두 가지 질문 주셨네요. 네. Um, it's difficult to look at the film and pick a particular scene just because Doug Jung and I and Justin um, wrote the movie very collaboratively and it was very much a shared process. So there's, I wouldn't say there's anything that I could say is absolutely any of ours uh, because we contributed to all of it. Um, when I look back at the film, I love the little moments of, of, um, of character. Uh, I love the little exchanges between Bones and Spock. And, um, but then it's impossible not to love the extraordinary action as well. And the, uh, there are various sequences in the film which just always leave me completely breathless, even though I've seen them before. Um, I just look at the whole thing and feel very proud, not just of the work that um, I did and Doug did and Justin did, but my castmates who all contributed enormously to their roles and to the greater film. And, um, you know, I look back on it as being a very collaborative process. 네, 어우, 처음부터 사이먼 페그 씨의 인기가 대단한데요. 자, 다음 질문은 어느 분에게로 가게 될까요? 중앙으로 가겠습니다. 예, 스포츠조선 구재환 기자라고 합니다. 그 저스틴 링 감독님께 질문 드리겠는데요. 어, 스타트랙 시리즈가 TV 시리즈도 굉장히 유명하고 또 프랜차이즈가 되게 잘된 프랜차이즈인데 처음 그 에이브 암스 감독한테 물려 받으셨잖아요. 그래서 이 스타트랙 시리즈를 어떻게 다르게 좀 연출을 그 에이브 암스 감독과 좀 다르게 연출을 해보려고 생각을 하셨는지 아니면 또 같은 그 선상에서 연출을 하셨는지 좀 같은 점 다른 점 이런 부분들을 설명 좀 해주시면 감사하겠습니다. 전작들과 연출의 포인트의 다른 점 같은 점. Um, when I uh, signed up, uh, the one thing that I really loved about the previous two films was that JJ kind of set a new timeline. So I personally grew up loving the original cast um, and the original uh, series. Sorry, I can't hear. Um, but uh, so I felt like you know, the, the original series was a five-year mission, so uh, with the, the last two films, uh, you really got to know the, the, the characters, but you still see that the crew has not gone on the five-year journey yet, so that was very exciting, and I felt like that was someone that we could take it on this film. 네. 자, 그럼 이제 또 다음 질문으로 넘어가 보도록 할까요? 이번은 오른쪽으로 가겠습니다. 
네, 안녕하세요. 한국 스포츠 경제 황주영입니다. 저는 제커리 킨토 씨랑 크리스파인 씨께 질문이 있는데요. 이번에 세 번째 호흡을 맞췄는데 이번 영화에선 어떠셨는지 궁금하고 또 이전 작품과 다르게 감독님을 새로 만났는데 이전 시리즈와의 차별점은 어떤지 궁금합니다. 네, 두 분의 호흡 그리고 어, 이번 시리즈가 다른 시리즈와 조금 다른 점에 대해서 제커리 퀸토 씨와 크리스 파인 씨에게 질문해 주셨는데요. 제커리 퀸토 씨 먼저 답변해 주실까요? Um, yes, uh, it's always great fun to come back together uh, with Chris and the rest of the cast. Uh, we all get along um, tremendously well. Uh, we have a, a great sense of camaraderie and um, friendship between us. So um, it's always a, a joy to be able to work together again, um, especially on characters that we now have a relationship with over the course of the past almost 10 years. Um, and. Um, I guess I would say, you know, we were all sorry to see JJ go in the sense that he was responsible for bringing us all together, but I, I can't really imagine anyone more suited to take over the reins than Justin. Uh, he came in with a tremendous vision and uh, uh, a really strong sense of the story that he wanted to tell, uh, combined with um, a, a sense of collaboration and uh, a desire to to draw on all of our relationships with one another and with these characters and so um, it was a very seamless transition and I think that the, the film Justin made is uh, excellent and uh, all of us feel excited to be a part of it. I had a great time filming this one as I have on the, the past, hold on, uh, there we go, on the past two. Uh, the third one was a different relationship to, to explore uh, between my character and Spock's and we didn't have all that uh, much to do as, as relative to the, the, the first two, but it was a great chance for Zach as Spock to explore his relationship with uh, Mr. Carl Urban's Bones, which I loved and provides some of my favorite moments in the film, some of the funniest for sure and some of the most heartfelt. Uh, and it takes a considerable uh, human being to step into a, uh, a world that uh, uh, as a community of actors and people that have been working together for so long and to step seamlessly into that family and Justin did so beautifully and he's got a wonderful spirit. He's a uh, first and foremost a, a lovely, lovely human being and uh, a great artist and one of the hardest workers I've ever met in my life and it demanded uh, this third one, someone to take the reins that tightly and that uh, commandingly and, and Justin did that and uh, I can't wait to work with him again. Mm, 알겠습니다. 자, 다음 질문은 왼쪽으로 가보겠습니다. 네, 저 헤럴드 경제 이세진 기자입니다. 그 저스틴 링 감독님께 질문 드리겠습니다. 최근에 한국에서 우주를 소재로 한 영화들이 굉장히 인기가 많았는데 뭐 인터스텔라나 마션, 그래비티 등 이제 우주 물리 법칙 같은 걸 사실적으로 묘사해서 인기가 많았어요. 근데 스타트랙은 한국 관객들한테 어떻게 좀 어필할 수 있을지 어, 의견을 부탁드리겠습니다. 스타트랙이 한국 팬들에게 어떤 점에서 어필할까요? 라고 질문해 주셨습니다. You know, I think for me, um, what I love about Star Trek is really starts with the characters. And um, it's this shared experience. Um, you really get a sense of family. Um, and at the same time, you're exposed to, you know, your, your discovery and, and you're exposed to new worlds, new species. Um, but it's also uh, the more we go out there, the more it's kind of exploration on, on them as human beings. And I think that's, that's to me, at the core is what's so great. Um, and and, and to, for us to be able to take that um, and, and try to um, share that with everybody, I think that's the one thing that I feel the audience will really uh, uh, embrace. 다음은 제가 배우 세 분께 질문을 하나 드리고 싶은데요. 도착하셔서 어제는 자유 시간을 보내신 걸로 알고 있거든요. 그래서 자유 시간 어떻게 보내셨는지, 어, 한국 어떻게 느끼셨는지 한 분씩 여쭤봤으면 좋겠습니다. 이번에는 제가 크리스 파인 씨부터 여쭐게요. 크리스 파인 씨. I uh, bought a pair of shoes. I bought a pair of sunglasses. I had a wonderful lunch. I had some insanely uh, beautifully crafted coffee as a fan of uh, the uh, lovely beverage called uh, coffee. 
Uh, I found a, a great spot called Independent Coffee. If you haven't been there, go quickly uh, and get yourself a flat white. Uh, yeah, that was about it. And then came back and uh, did a steam and a sauna. It was lovely. I had a great time yesterday. I'm enjoying it immensely here. I uh, can't wait to go to dinner tonight. We went to a... A great restaurant, the name of which escapes me, but then we went to this uh, bar um, where it was a speakeasy, which was really, really cool. I had a great time. Um, so, yeah, I'm loving it here. I wish I had more time. Unfortunately, this is, oftentimes we breeze into a city and then we have to bolt as quickly as possible, so we try to fit in as much stuff as possible to get a sense of the, of the city and the town. And... Uh, as I've said before, you guys are, are really so uh, wonderful and warm and, and welcoming, and that's all you can ask uh, of any place you visit as a foreigner, and I appreciate it uh, greatly. Oh, 네, 쇼핑도 하시고 음식도 맛있게 즐기셨다고 하는데 다음번에는 정말 넉넉하게 시간을 가지고 한국에 놀러 오시기 바라겠습니다. 이번엔 제커리 킨토 씨. Well, I was with Chris for most of that. Uh, I didn't buy any shoes, though. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, had, I, I echo his sentiments about the independent coffee, although I got an iced coffee, not a flat white, so, um, and then I had some work I had to do, so I came back here to the hotel and did some work, um, and then we went to dinner, which was amazing, and then, um, I'm, I'm really proud that I was actually able to get on a normal sleep schedule last night, so hopefully that means that I can enjoy, uh, my breaks today and maybe get out, um, Jun-sik? We went to Jun Sik, which was lovely. It was fantastic. Yeah, and um, I really, I really also, I, you know, it's true when we come to these places, we have such little time usually to explore. Um, but we have a couple of hours today, so I want to try to get to the temple, which is very nearby, um, to visit the the lotus. Festival that I hear is going on there, which I saw some photos of yesterday, which looks really beautiful. So we'll see if I can get over there this afternoon. 네, 한정식을 말씀하신 것 같고요. 방금 전에 얘기는 그 다음에 봉은사 방문하신 것 같고요. 그 커피집은 도대체 어디였는지 한번 알아보고 알게 되면 알려드리겠습니다. 이제 마지막으로 사이먼 페그신데요. 사이먼 페그신은 지금 이 한국말로 나오는 것도 굉장히 신기하게 듣고 계셔서 한국에 온 소감과 함께 한국어를 듣는 느낌도 어떤지 yeah. 한번 여쭤보고 싶어요. It's fantastic. I went to I went to every gallery, every temple, every museum. I went to the theatre. I did a tour of the city. No, I didn't do any of that. Um, <laughs> we haven't had a huge amount of spare time. I had to go off and do some uh, be on the uh, non-summit yesterday, which was a lot of fun. Um, and uh, I went to the mall, <laughs> walked around the mall underneath the hotel, which is amazing. It's like a city underground. Um, and, um, but mainly it's been work, work, work. I hope to be able to visit Seoul again and, and see it properly and see more of this wonderful city. Um, unfortunately, our time here is short and um, a lot of it is taken up with work. But I get the vibe that it's a wonderful place and I'd really like to explore it some more. ね、セブンダチュゴンシガンポネシンゴハクヨタンポネコーチンシガンネサンゴグルヤヨンゴシキハラミダチャイジタンジムガドルカゲスミダカウンデチムニンネヨヤンニャンセヨイトデイビセント
business and pleasure can mix a bunch, and, and I get to have a great time playing make-believe with uh, my friends. And this last time we were in Vancouver, which is a beautiful city, we got to explore that. And uh, uh, so yeah, I had a great time, and I look forward to many more years of working together. You want to take a look into it? Um, I agree with everything Chris said. I also feel like, um, you know, I have the good fortune to play a character who is uh, iconic throughout the world, um, who's had a, an incredibly positive influence on millions of people over a number of generations. And um, for me, one of the most personally gratifying aspects of that is uh, the relationship that I was able to forge with uh, Leonard Nimoy, my predecessor, and the man who created that character to begin with. Um, Unfortunately, as I'm sure you know, he passed away, and um, so this movie has more of a resonance uh, for all of us, um, and specifically for me as a result of our friendship and our connection, which went far beyond the uh, the bond of the character. And um, I think that Simon and Doug and Justin did a beautiful job of honoring him through the the course of this story, and um, uh, his presence is very much felt throughout the film, um, and. Uh, and yeah, just, just uh, working in a world and working in a franchise that at its core has a message of real optimism and hope and faith in humanity at a time when I think uh, all of us across the world could use just that. Um, yeah, I'd like to echo the guys um, just in terms of how wonderful it is to be able to work with um, my friends. Um, I think as an actor, it's also nice to return to a character that you've played before because you get to evolve that character and feel part of their story again, and that's often quite fun. You know, you, you play a character for the first time, often in film, and you never play that character again. But when you do uh, participate in a franchise, you get to reprise the role, and it's um, always fun because every time you come back, that character gets a little bit more complex and their history becomes a little richer and um, that's uh, a gift as an actor. 네, 이렇게 오랜 시간 함께 하시다 보니까 더 친해지신 것 같아요. 조스틴 님 감독님 하실 말씀 있으신가요? 네. Yeah, you know, I've done enough uh, sequels to, to know that it's not something you just do. You know, something that you really earn and it's a relationship you build with the audience. Uh, not just in the states but globally you know and uh, i was very fortunate to be a part of this uh, to be with such a great group of people you know I, I i started off in the indie world and i made you know i remember making the credit card movie and even though this was a big budget film i really felt like uh this is so unique because it felt like it was a group of people that cared when every time they showed up every morning and you know there was so much passion and that always was driving it and uh you know, it, it, it's a very, you know, unique experience, not only as a fan of Star Trek, but to be able to contribute, but then also to be able to work this talented and amazing group of people. Um, this definitely was very special on top of the, just being a sequel. 네, 그 캐릭터가 진화해가는 것처럼 네 분의 그 각자에 대한 신뢰와 우정도 돈독해지는 걸 느낄 수가 있는 것 같습니다. 자, 다음 질문 가겠습니다. 가운데 쪽입니다. 예, 좀 매일경제신문의 김식윤 기자입니다. 저스틴 린 감독님께 질문 드리겠습니다. 이번 스타트랙 비욘드가 전작 시리즈들과 비교를 했을 때 가장 두드러지는 특성이 뭔지 좀 요약을 좀 부탁드리고요. 전작을 잇는 속편이라는 그런 한계를 극복하기 위해서 가장 좀 중점을 두어야 했던 게 뭔지도 말씀 부탁드립니다. 네, 가장 두드러지는 특징 그러기 위해서 어떤 점에 노력하셨는지에 대한 질문입니다. Uh, you know, when, uh, when I signed on, I remember uh, I was, uh, I, I flew to London to be in a, a hotel room with, with Simon and Doug Jung, and we had a conversation about what this adventure should be. Um, and uh, for me, I felt like this has been so beloved for the last 50 years. And, you know, I felt like it was time to try to maybe uh, create a situation where we can, where we can deconstruct um, Star Trek, deconstruct these characters, and... and and by doing that, to, to maybe um, take the one thing that's going to unite them through all these years, which is the Enterprise. Um, and it led to some very uh, uh, energetic uh, discussions between all of us. And, and that's what kind of got, I think, all of us excited. And hopefully through this movie, through all these interactions with the characters, it will reaffirm to us at the end why you know, there's been so much passion and love for these characters in this franchise. 
네, 지금 말씀하시면서 그 더그정이라고 언급을 하셨는데 그 더그정이 한국계 각본가이거든요. 그래서 감독님 그 우리 한국계 각본가 더그정 씨랑 어떻게 함께 작업하시게 되셨고 함께 하신 소감 한 말씀 더해 주실래요? Oh, I've been a big fan of Doug. I remember um, coming out of Sundance, I read out of, like 12 years ago, I read a script of his and I was, I was a fan. Um, and I also, you know, I, I, uh, I've worked with Song Kang and John Cho. And so um, I, I really enjoy working with them. Not only are they talented, but uh, I feel like we always get to hang out and go eat some good food in Koreatown. So that's something that's always a bonus. 음, 그렇군요. 사이먼 페그 씨도 직접 라이팅 하시면서 각본을 함께 집필하셨는데 어, 더그 정 씨와 함께 하신 소감 어떠셨나요? Um, I'd never met Doug before um, when we were put together. Um, but fortunately we became firm friends very quickly and you know Justin and Doug and I were all on the same page in terms of what we wanted for the movie. And uh, Doug and I enjoyed some great sessions writing together. Doug came to stay with me in the UK and um, lived at my house for a couple of weeks and we were on a different time zone to LA which meant that LA was asleep when we were working which was nice because we couldn't be bothered by them. Uh, not including Justin obviously. Um, but it was, uh, it was great and uh, it was lovely to work with um, someone who had such passion and skill. Doug's a brilliant structuralist, like he really understands how to track a story and that was really helpful in the writing process. His technical acumen was, was really, um, I valued enormously. 네, 알겠습니다. 자, 이번에는 왼쪽으로 질문 가볼까요? 네. 네, 저는 민중의 소리 이소희 기자고요. 크리스파인 씨하고 저스틴 님 감독님께 질문 드리겠습니다. 크리스파인 씨 사실은 굉장히 옷을 잘 입는 배우로 유명하고요. 그리고 또 굉장히 잘생기셨잖아요. 그래서 이번에 내안하셨을 때 우리 한국 팬들께 보여주는 그뭐 의상 포인트 오늘 있고 또 저녁에도 레드카펫 있는데요 오늘의 의상 포인트 좀 말씀해 주시면 좋겠고 또 저스틴님 감독님께는 이게 이제 리부트 3부작의 마지막인데요 한국에도 정말 트래키들이 많거든요 그래서 한국 팬들께 이 리부트를 마지막으로 정리하면서 어떤 메시지를 좀 같이 읽었으면 좋겠는지 말씀해 주시면 좋겠습니다 네, 조스틴님 감독님께는 한국 팬들에게 전하는 메시지 그리고 우리 크리스 파인 배우님은 어제 신발도 사시고 선글라스도 사셨는데 오늘 레드 카펫 때 어떤 의상 포인트를 어, 의상을 입으실지 여쭤봐도 될까? 어, 지금도 굉장히 약간 팬시한 셔츠를 입고 계신데요. 네. I am wearing a very short and a very fancy shirt that I can't figure out how to wear precisely because it feels like it's billowing one way or the other so I'm gonna go maybe see a tailor briefly uh, before my next uh, photography outing um, I well god I can't tell you what I'm wearing tonight that's a secret and uh, thank you for your kind words and uh, uh, I do like my threads and um, uh, we do so many of these things that I just figured why not have some fun with what you're wearing because my god you're spending so many uh, so many hours uh, wearing them. So, uh, anyway, surprises tonight. Sure will be fun, I hope. And, uh, yeah, thank you. <웃음> 네, 오늘 저녁은 이따가 직접 만나보시기 바랍니다. 다음은 조스틴 님 감독님. Um, yesterday when I landed, uh, 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 we headed over to the cinema, um, and I found out yesterday was a big uh, holiday for everybody here. Um, and it was a packed cinema, and I was very honored that, you know, we had all these great star Trek fans and, and film students there just to hang out and watch the film. And we spent a good time just discussing the franchise, and I was kind of blown away at how intricate and how uh, intimate uh, the fans' relationship with the franchise is. And I, I, you know, for me, it was such a pleasure to be able to uh, work with this great cast, but also at the same time really kind of explore these characters with Simon and Doug and you know to create situations that I think uh, for me I know it's been probably in my head since I was eight years old but to be able to see it and bring it to life and you know I hope that um, this uh, allows the franchise to, to be able to kind of go on for the next uh, hopefully 50 years. 네, 어제 GV 시간도 굉장히 폭발적인 인기였다고 하는데요. 많은 한국 팬들과 이야기를 나누신 것 같습니다. 자, 다음 질문은 오른쪽으로 가겠습니다. 네, 
안녕하세요. 맥스무비 차지수라고 하는데요. 이번에 리안나가 OST에 참여하기도 했고 여러모로 음악 작업에 좀 공을 많이 들이신 것 같은데 어떤 부분에 좀 중점을 두시고 작업을 했는지 감독님께 부탁드립니다. 네, 이번에도 뭐 음악이 아주 인상적이었죠? 네, 감독님. 음악 연출에 있어서 어떤 점에 중점 두셨는지요? Um, it was really interesting with Rihanna. Um, you know, I had heard that she was a fan of, of Star Trek. And when the first trailer went up, which used the Beastie Boys song, um, I had heard that she turned off the music and she played her song on top of it. And it just kind of blew me away that it, it you know, uh, tempo-wise, it was a very different, tonally, it was a very different feel, but she had that connection. Uh, so when I heard that, I, 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 I you know, I, I set up a meeting. I wanted to make sure that um, she was able to, you know, come in and join and celebrate um, the 50 years that, that this franchise has been around. Mm, 알겠습니다. 자, 다음 질문 넘어가겠습니다. 제가 하나 여쭤봐도 될까요? 저 제커리 퀸토 씨에게 여쭤보고 싶은데요. 음, 그 스타트랙 팀원들에 대한 애정을 제가 표현하신 걸로 알고 있습니다. 영원히 이 사람들과 함께 영화를 찍고 싶다고. 그래서 이번 작품은 촬영하면서 가장 행복했던 순간이 언제였는지 제가 여쭤봐도 될까요? Um. <웃음> 뭐라고 이렇게 uh. 사인을 주시는데요, 사이먼 페그 씨가. Uh, Simon was yeah, giving me a signal to say that it involved him. Um, uh, you know, we did, we shot this movie in Vancouver. Uh, I had never been to Vancouver, and it's a beautiful city. Um, and we were there during the summertime, which is a really uh, especially lovely time to be there. So we spent a lot of time outside. Um, I would say, the, you know, the time we spent uh, up there was uh, particularly satisfying and uh, really enjoyable. And, Um, out on the water on boats and hiking and um, uh, yeah it was it was a um, it's hard to narrow it down to one memory I, I felt like it was kind of like summer camp and uh, and and we were all away from home and uh, and made the most of our adventures that way. 전체적으로 촬영의 순간이 그 여름 캠프 같은 즐거운 추억이 됐나 봅니다. 그렇다면 이번에는 사이먼 페그 씨께도 여쭤봐야 될것 같아요. 사이먼 페그 씨는 어떤 순간이 제일 행복하셨는지요? Um, it was to do with Zach. Um, no, I, I, it was a happy experience. The whole thing was a very happy time, and um, we got to spend. time with each other. Uh, when we shoot in LA, often we all live in different parts of the city at that time, so we all go home at the end of the day and to our various areas. Whereas in, when we're away in Vancouver, we, we were all staying in the same sort of square mile, so we would go out and have dinner every evening. We have many lovely dinners. We spend lots of quality time with each other, and um, it's a real, it's a wonderful part of the job. Is, is, To, to, to be around such talented and fun, like-minded people. J.J. Abrams and April Webster, who assembled the cast uh, for the first film, I always look back on that as being a, an extraordinary series of decisions that they made, because we all, you know, we are like a little family. It's, it's such a cliche, but it's true. We, we have a, a very strong bond, and, and it's only grown stronger over the years. So to pick one single moment, although there was a pizza I had, <laughs> It was very nice. No, I couldn't possibly. It was, um, it was a wonderful time. 네, 전부 어, 피자가 아니라 전부 다 즐거운 시간이었군요. 말씀하시는 걸 들어보니까 스타트랙 팀 여러분 모두 먹는 걸 상당히 좋아하시는 것 같아요. 그래서 다음번에 스타트랙에서는 저희가 어, 먹방, 어, 음식 드시는 그런 장면을 어, 기대해봐도 되겠다라는 생각이 듭니다. 자, 다음 질문 넘어가도록 하겠습니다. 이번엔 오른쪽입니다. 예 안녕하세요. 저 더팩트 권혁기 기자라고 합니다. 영화 정말 재밌게 봤고요. 저는 제커리 퀸토하고 크리스 파인 씨께 질문 드리겠는데요. 어 제커리 퀸토 씨 같은 경우에는 되게 진지하게 유머를 했던 것 같아요. 영화에서 실제 유머 감각은 어떠신지 궁금하고요. 그리고 크리스 파인 씨 같은 경우에는 이번에 되게 진지한 역할만 하셨는데 뭐 다른 배우들 유머 코드가 되게 한국에서도 잘 먹겠다 생각하는데 유머 욕심은 없으신지 궁금합니다. 
네, 유머에 대한 얘기네요. 제커리 킨토 씨부터 그쪽 굉장히 진지한 캐릭터죠. 제가 참 좋아하는 캐릭터인데요. 실제 유머 감각 어떠세요? I am hilarious. Thank you. Um, I, you know, it, it, Spock is a very serious character, and uh, and it's one of the challenges of playing him. Actually, is that there's not a lot of opportunity to express emotion, whether it's Uh, sadness, anger, frustration, happiness, um, joy, laughter, you know, it's sort of all uh, distilled to um, a, a minimal range of expression. So, uh, so I do like to laugh as much as I can between takes and luckily I'm surrounded by uh, an ensemble full of Uh, beautiful clowns to make me laugh. Uh, it really is. Uh, we we take great joy in in laughing together and making each other laugh while we're working. And uh, and uh, I think that that while we're all really committed to our work, um, none of us ultimately take ourselves too seriously. Um, we take ourselves just seriously enough. <laughs> 커크 씨, 좀 장난스러운 캐릭터긴 한데 크리스파의 유머 욕심 없냐고 우리 기자님께서 질문해 주셨습니다. 조금 애매한 질문이 될까요? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry I was so serious in the film. I hope I didn't bum you out. Um, yeah, I was just going through a hard time. Uh, but yeah, I usually get to do some pretty funny. So the first one was particular. The first one was particularly a good time for Kirk and doing some broad humor. And I'm always down and and uh i was i would tell justin all the time that anytime we can make it funny anytime we can make it funny give it to me and i was always <laughs> i was always pushing the envelope with with uh justin that first scene is my favorite um probably my favorite in the film for me to do because i just get to act like a jackass um which is kind of my comfort zone uh but again i apologize for bumming you out i'll be less uh, serious the next film i promise we actually had to tell chris to be serious at times because his instinct is to play the humor he's very funny and he plays kirk sort of bombastic kind of um self-deprecation very well and uh and at times we had to say be serious in this moment you have to look like a action star because his instinct is to be very funny and there are moments in the film which are hilarious um and i would disagree that i think kirk is actually in this movie has uh, several sort of light moments which uh, i i always really enjoy 네, 그렇지 않아도 저 사이먼 페그시의 증언이 필요했는데 알아서 답을 해주셨습니다. 고맙습니다. 자, 다음 질문 가겠습니다. 다음 질문 오른쪽입니다. 네, 안녕하세요. 조이뉴스 24 권혜림이라고 하는데요. 제커리 킨토 씨에게 질문 드리고 싶은데 우선 1, 2편과 비교했을 때 이제 이번 영화에서는 스파의 개인사에 대한 언급도 좀 있고 로맨스를 통해서도 어떤 성장을 겪는 것 같다는 생각이 들어요. 근데 배우분이 생각하시기에는 3편의 시리즈를 거쳐오면서 인물이 어떤 성장과 변화를 겪었다고 생각하시는지 얘기해 주시면 감사할 것 같고요. 또 하나 질문 드리고 싶은 건 사실 많이 들으셨을 것 같은 질문이긴 한데 아무래도 가장 인상적인 분장을 하고 등장하시니 좀 분장 과정에서 있었던 에피소드나 과정을 좀 얘기해 주시면 감사하겠습니다. 네. 변화 그리고 분장에 얽힌 에피소드. Sure. Um, yeah, I think Spock in this film um, is at a real crossroads in his life, and um, I think he's torn between his obligation to Starfleet and the Federation, and um, and his uh, commitment to helping rebuild the Vulcan race. Um, and uh, and I, I think he's he's of two minds as he often is, and um, you know he and Uhura have decided to uh, part ways at the beginning of this film, um, uh, largely due to his his desire and his need to return and focus his energy on helping other Vulcans. Um, and uh, and I think then you know a series of things happen both to him and to the crew uh, that help clarify. Um, the need for him to stay and uh, and double down his commitment to Starfleet. Um, <laughs> um, and also, I would say, uh, in terms of the makeup for the movie, um, I thought I had it bad, like the first two films. I was the one that had to come in really early and had to be in the makeup chair for so long. And, you know, people would say, oh, how long does it take to do your makeup? And I would say, anyway, you know, about three, three, three hours or so. And they'd, oh, my gosh, you know, I'd have to come in at 
you know, four in the morning sometimes. Um, but on this film, uh, first of all, we've narrowed it down to about an hour and 45 minutes. We had a, a new makeup team on this movie, Joel Harlow, and, um, and his team were incredible and really, uh, really talented. And we were able to, to cut about an hour off of the time that it takes to, uh, to get into the makeup every day. Plus the fact that both Sofia Butella and Idris Elba had to be in makeup for five hours. Um, sometimes we would be at dinner and Sophia would have to leave to go to work for the next day because she had to get there so early. Um, so I realize now that I have absolutely nothing to complain about um, and uh, I just just show up every day and uh, yeah, it all happens. 네, 그런데 세분 중에 이렇게 그 뾰족한 귀가 제일 어울리는 분은 우리 제커리 퀸토 씨가 제일 잘 어울린다라는 생각이 듭니다. 자. 마지막 질문 가도록 하겠습니다. 마지막 질문은 네, 가운데 있네요. 네, 안녕하세요. 뉴스에이드 안희슬 기자라고 합니다. 어, 저스틴 링 감독님하고 사이먼 페그 씨한테 질문을 드리고 싶은데 존조가 연기한 술루 캐릭터 가족 구성이 밝혀졌는데 굉장히 진보적인 시도였다고 생각을 합니다. 어떻게 이렇게 캐릭터를 발전시키게 되는지 그 과정이 좀 듣고 싶고요. 그리고 마지막으로 남은 시간 짧긴 하지만 어떻게 보내실 계획인지 한 말씀 부탁드립니다. 두분 모두에게 질문하는 거죠. 네, 먼저 감독님께 여쭤보도록 하겠습니다. 살루의 가족 구성과 그리고 한국에서 담, 남은 시간 어떻게 보내실지에 대한 질문이었습니다. 감독님. You know, uh, you know, Star Trek's been around for 50 years, and um, I remember when we sat down, uh, we talked about how it'd be great to be able to get moments with these characters, maybe slice of life moments, um, just something that. I think in the original show you maybe not see, you know, and I remember when Simon came up with the idea, um, I was surprised that, you know, uh, that it hasn't been shared in that world, in the Star Trek world, um, so it was something that, that felt very organic um, all the way through. Yeah, I think Star Trek is very much a story about integration. It's about diversity. Uh, um, Gene Roddenberry, who created Star Trek, his uh, mantra used to be infinite diversity and infinite combinations. And Star Trek has always led the way um, in terms of uh, depicting a, a future where we all live together. Um, there is no judgment. There is total tolerance, total acceptance. And uh, that's, I think, how we should all strive to be across the entire planet. You know, that's, that should be our goal as a species. And, um, you know, so it felt like an, uh, a, an appropriate thing to do for the 50th anniversary. And I, th I think something that Gene Roddenberry would have definitely approved of. Um, as far as Korea is concerned, um, I mean, it would be lovely to spend a few months here and just see as much of the country as possible. Do you have water slides? Yes, we do. I would go to those. <laughs> yeah. Ice slides. Um, no, I, I, seriously, I would, I would love to spend some time here. I've genuinely, I've said it, I've said it already, but I have been bowled over by the, the welcome we've received. And um, um, this little bracelet I'm wearing is from the Radical Pexters, who are a little group of uh, people who um, give me lots of gifts. And um, I've never received a welcome like it. I'm genuinely touched and uh, feel very loved. 네 오시기만 하신다면 제가 한국 가이드를 해드리도록 하겠습니다. 네. <웃음> 네. 자 그러면 이제 마지막 인사 말씀을 네 분께 청해 드려야 될것 같습니다. 아, 마지막 인사 말씀 사이먼 페그 씨부터 한 분씩 들어보도록 할까요? 네. My closing remark is um... No, thank you so much, basically, for uh, making us feel so welcome. I'm really excited for um, the people of Korea to see Star Trek Beyond. It's a film that we made with a lot of passion and a lot of love, and it's a film we made for everybody. So um, enjoy it, and thanks again for having us. Take a Yes, um, thank you so much for having us here. And um, I, I agree, you know, I, I feel like this is... Um, this is a, a franchise that has all the hallmarks of, uh, of a real summer blockbuster, a lot of action and a lot of excitement, but also a lot of heart. And, uh, you know, these, these characters and these stories have been around for half a century. 
which is a, a remarkable achievement, and I think there's a, a, a great reason for that, which is that um, it is rooted in a, a, a message of uh, connectivity, unity, and um, and ultimately optimism. And uh, and again, I think that uh, there's no time like this one for uh, that kind of message to be resonant. Chris Pansy. Yeah, I would echo what my friends just said, is that art and film at its best is a great unifier and it shows us the, the links between all of us and even though culture, race, language, uh, geography separates uh, you from us, this film is very much a human story and there are themes and, and, uh, and ideas about relationships and love and, and compassion and generosity of spirit that uh, transcend any kind of obstacles and boundaries. Uh, that separate us. Um, you match that with some incredibly uh, beautiful visuals and I think you have a film that the Korean uh, people will love and I, I'm very uh, uh, happy to be here to, to, to show us, uh, to show you our film and, and, and very thankful that uh, your welcome was so uh, warm. Thank you. Justin Nikandoni. Yeah, you know, I um, again, this is a it's a big budget action movie, um, but it took a lot of great people coming together and 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 to have it come to life. Um, you know, we've we've had the pleasure to be able to share this uh, in the states, in Europe, and I, what I really appreciate it is that the people that passion is Trek, they've come out and and they've really embraced and, and enjoyed this film. But equally, um, a lot of the people who haven't seen Trek. Uh, and it was experiencing it for the first time, um, we were getting also a lot of very positive uh, embrace. So um, I'm very excited to be here and I, I can't wait to, to be able to share with everybody in Korea. 네, 고맙습니다. 자, 그럼 이것으로 스타트랙 비욘드의 기자회견을 마치고 